Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Chad Dake here. Gonna tell you a couple. St okay, that's not me. That's I. I can't put on. I was gonna put on the whole cool, cool routine, be a gangster. I was gonna hold a skateboard, look at you, smile, do a couple flip things, and just look real cool. But I will just go. I'll just bring it to your real here. You know, today I was thinking about my life, and I was thinking, I was thinking about my uh, the past. <laughs> And some stories of some things that have happened, and I thought, you know, I'll just share those with all of you and uh, give you, hopefully, give you a good laugh, or you'll just feel sorry for me. Which, if you do, you know, email me and you can send me money. I'll take donations. That'd be great. Um, you know, I've had a lot of funny things happen to me. I've, I've, I've experienced a lot of things. I've had some real, some real killer friends growing up, and and uh, I just thought it, it it merits telling some of these stories. You know. When I was six, well, 15, actually, I got a, a pickup. It was an 83 Chevy uh, Custom Deluxe, and I uh, thought it was a tank. You know, and my parents have a little five-acre plot of land, and I, I, I must have drove 500 miles around that plot of land. And I'd constantly, they had a little pond out there, you know, and I'd constantly take my truck through the pond, through the edges of it, and, and I'd constantly get grounded from it, you know. But, you know, especially in the summertime, oh, you're grounded from your truck. I'm thinking, look here, fine, okay, I'm grounded from my truck. I'm thinking, A... You gotta go to work all day. And B, the ignition's messed up and that'll start without keys. So you may think I'm grounded from my truck, but I'm not grounded from anything. Well, I remember one time I was grounded from my truck for driving through the edge of the pond and tearing up the uh, the uh, the hole in the pond bank. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try to run through the middle of this thing. I can do this. I can do it. Well, I backed up, and, you know, Mom and Dad weren't home, and they weren't going to be, it's like 11 a.m. noon. They weren't going to be home for hours, you know, and they're idiots, right? So I'll do this and get away with it. So I get running, getting in the, you know, hit the pond, get in the middle of it, and water's about quarter way, halfway up the doors, and pff, 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 truck dies. I'm like, crap. So I get out and climb through the truck and then into the water and then out the back, and I thought, ah, oh, no big deal. I'll call my buddy Austin. He'll come pull me out. So I call Austin. Hey, man, I'm stuck in my pond. You want to come pull me out? He goes, oh, sure, dude. I'm on my way. All is good, right? Well, as I'm walking back up to the house, changing the dry clothes, who pulls in? Dad pulls right in, looks right out. See the cab of my truck sticking out of the pond. Turned out he took off work early because he'd come home with a load of mulch. He's going to do a little landscaping. Hmm, that is my luck. So I was grounded from my truck again. However, like I said, the ignition was broken. I was able to get into more trouble. Gathered four or five friends up one day. <laughs> one of my buddies named Joe, awesome guy, awesome guy. <laughs> he used to eat video camera everything, and uh, kind of like I do now. And uh, he brought a video camera. We're all hanging out and cutting donuts in our trucks behind my parents' pond, because as we know, they'll never see that, right? Well, I thought, well, he's recording, you know. I'll jump the pond. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it was my idea, but I, I embraced it. I thought, I'll jump the back of the bank, which is high, get airborne, go through the pond, and we set up two little things on each side of the pond, about 10 foot in between them. I'll get airborne, go through the pond completely, make it out the other side in between these. It'll be great. So we talked about it and figured it all out, and Joe set up with his camera, and actually had two of my buddies in the back of the truck, uh, Austin and Justin, hold on to the bed rails, which is retarded, but we did it. I backed up to the fence line and I revved up my truck, you know, for, for effect on the video camera. And I vroom, 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 and I threw it in the drive and, er, well, probably not er, because it was dirt, so probably something along those lines. I'm not good with sound effects. I'm not a beatbox or anything here. Anyhow, I took off, and about halfway to the pond bank, I had to pedal all the way down, and I thought, is this really a smart thing to do? And then I looked over and saw Joe with the video camera, and I thought, heck, yes, it is. This is brilliant. This is way beyond smart. I hit the pond bank, jumped, did get airborne. After watching the video, we realized I did get airborne, which is a surprise, but it happened. <laughs> Landed in the pond, actually made it through. It was a surprise, because normally that wasn't my luck. I don't know why I did something so stupid. Made it through. My two buddies in the back didn't die. However, my bed rails were all shaky and bored the holes out and all that. Made it through and made it between a target. It was the best day of my life. I was the king of the world at that point. But my truck uh, never rode smooth again. I uh, ended up having to put a transmission in it. Uh, I think a few bear bearings here and there. Always had a little shimmy. Never could get it quite right after that. But, uh, you know, when I was, what, 16, 17, 18, uh, me and my friend uh, Justin and my friend Pete, we'd all meet up before school. Well, Justin wasn't in school. He was a little older than us, but I think he actually dropped out of school. 
we'd all meet up, you know, before school, before me and Pete had to go to school, we'd meet at Pete's house on his porch to smoke. Because we were cool, let me tell you, we were the cool ones, right? So Justin lived just two houses down, like 100 feet from Pete's house, you know, and he'd always come up there and smoke and hang out, and he'd actually be there waiting for us when we got there before school, or when Pete came out and when I showed up, and he'd be there waiting for us whenever we got home from school, or because he really didn't work a whole lot, you know, you know what I'm talking about here. Well, one morning, we're sitting there, and Justin's not up there, and we're sitting there smoking. And we look, we're like, where's Justin, you know? Then we see his screen door open and his little head peeks out and then sucks back in. And then peeks out and he looks around. We're like, what's he doing? Steps out and his boxers, little bitty tiny boxers, and Justin was a hefty guy, you know, little bitty tiny boxers, big old gapped boxers, looks around and takes off running up to Pete's. Well, he makes it through his yard and into the yard of the house that's right in between him and Pete's house. And school bus come down the road. So he gets up against their house and hides and then he gets down inside the car and he's hiding. You know, and these people could have looked out their window, they could have called the police, he'd have been gone, which would have probably been justified. And the school bus goes by, he runs up to Pete's, runs inside, and uh, runs right into Pete's room, grabs a pair of shorts, puts them on, comes out and says, Ah, so what's up guys? <laughs> I mean, what do you say to that? And one time we was out there, we was out there smoking again before school, another day, and it was real cold, and Justin walked out and started up his car and then walked back into his house, and we're thinking, huh, did he get a job? Bryce is not coming up here. Well, he lets his car warm up for 10, 15 minutes. Then he goes and gets in his car and backs out into the road and then peels out. And then the 100 feet it was, max, to Pete's house. And then slams on his brakes. Shuts his car off, gets out. What's up, guys? Lights up a cigarette. He's walking up. So these are the kind of people, you know, that I grew up with. And and Justin, Justin was a riot to hang out with. Nice guy. Made a bad decision once every hour or so but a real <laughs> nice guy in a right to hang out with real goofball though you know one time uh <laughs> me and pete were sitting on his porch i don't think justin was there at this time and there was a squirrel up in this tree just having you know seven eight feet up in this tree and just sitting there you know hanging out and he told pete and we're sitting there you know because well, again we were cool mind you we're sitting there smoking i said Bet you I can go get my knife out of my truck, catch that squirrel, and kill him. And Pete said, there ain't no way. So I said, stomp that thing out, and I snuck around in my truck, grabbed a knife. Actually, I don't think I could find the knife. I think I ended up getting a screw <laughs> screwdriver. <laughs> Welcome to my head, right? So I sneak up there, and I'm going, you know, do, 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 do. Do, do, real spy like. I get up against the tree, the other side of the tree that this squirrel's on. Do -do, do -do, do -do. I jump around the tree, his tail's hanging down, I grab him by the tail and go to yank him down. Well, my thought was I can yank him down by the tail and stab him and then go up to Pete and claim my glory. So Pete's sitting on the porch watching all this. Grab the tail and my hand slides down, skinned all the fur off his tail and the I go to stab and the squirrel hasn't moved. And I thought, now wait a minute. Something is up here. Something's not right. The squirrel should have ran or bit me or growled or cried or something. Well, upon further inspection, the squirrel was dead. Um, <laughs> I guess, I don't know. I guess it had a heart attack or maybe something gave it internal injuries and it started up the tree and then stopped and died with its claws in the tree looking to the side. So, uh... That was, <laughs> that was pretty funny. I think we got a bunch of pictures of that, actually. Actually, I think we lit another cigarette and put it in the squirrel's mouth and smoked a cigarette with him for respect for me skinning his tail. And then, then we took pictures. But we were dumb. <laughs> we did the stupidest stuff. And it's funny looking back on it, but we, we did, I mean, I, it's stuff I would never do these days, but just... You know, that's, that's the way we live. That's what we did.